up, Peachy Babies? This week, we're gonna be creating brand new slime textures using the weirdest elements that I could find. But first, I gotta keep my promise. On the last video, how many likes for you to take a bath in Orbeez? 3,000 likes. You guys got 3K likes easy. It's time to swim in Orbeez. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh. So it's no water, just 100% Orbeez. This feels so strange, but I love it. I love it. You know what? Let's double it. If this video gets 6K likes, I'll fill up a trash can with slime and work from inside of it all day. I think it's gonna be really funny. But now, it's time to get into the video. Someone suggested I add lipstick into slime. I'm gonna add it to this clear slime that I have right here. And I have my little knife and we're just gonna chop up the lipstick and see what we create. My last makeup slime turned out pretty cool. I'm just gonna go in and get as much as I can. I honestly love ruining makeup, it's so much fun. Ooh, we got like this corally orange. Ooh, we got black. I think black lipstick is a vibe. Ooh, this one has to be my favorite. It's like a gold. This is gonna give our slime some shimmer. I'm gonna add that one in the middle. Wow, this one's like metallic brown. That's pretty cool. My prediction is that the lipstick is gonna make for a really nice pigment, but I have a feeling that it's gonna deactivate the slime just a little bit. All right, I'm so excited to mix this. Let's go. Ooh, that looks really cool. Ooh, look at that purple. It's actually mixing pretty well. You can see all the like lipstick chunks. And honestly guys, this is not sticky. Let's see if I could do a lipstick bubble pop. Good job. I'd say my prediction was wrong. It's not sticky at all. It made for a really nice pigment. Lipstick and slime works. I found these tiny beads in our warehouse. They look like sand, so I feel like they're gonna give us a really sandy type of slime texture. Well, these are actually glass beads. They're gonna look really pretty in clear slime. I'm just gonna dump it all in. Now I'm gonna mix it into the slime. Wow, it makes the slime look like a giant crystal. All right, I'm gonna dump in some more beads. So far, my prediction is right. It's kind of like a sandy slime. So the texture feels a bit scratchy. All the beads, as they mix into the slime, it's creating some really nice crunch. And we love a good crunch. This slime is a success. The color is beautiful. It feels like I just made one giant diamond crystal. It mixes into the slime nicely, but you really gotta take your time mixing it or else it gets a bit rippy. All right, let's do a bubble test and then we'll decide if this is a success. Nope, it's not a success, guys. This slime is a bit rippy, but it is beautiful. Glass beads and slime, it's up for debate. Let me know in the comments if you think this is a success. Packing peanuts. Someone left this comment and I immediately went into the warehouse and stole a whole bin of packing peanuts for this video, but don't tell Andrea. Once we mix them into this clear slime, it's gonna give it a crack a lack and vibe, something crunchy. And I gotta say, I love packaging materials. Let's just dump them in. As I was saying, I love packaging materials. I feel like they just really help my stress levels when I play with them. As a kid, my parents would always give me those like bubble wraps to play with them like as a treat. I would just spend all day popping those bubbles. Those were the best days. Okay guys, this looks like one giant mountain of peanut snow. All right guys, you gotta listen to this peanut crunch. It's crazy. All right guys, so after I mix it all together, they don't really add any texture. This just feels like our clear slime, but it does create some good sound effects. This has to be the crunchiest sounding slime we've ever made. We all love a good bath, so we're making a bath bomb slime. I'm just gonna cut up these bath bombs. I think when you add these into the water, they'll just like kind of melt, but since it's slime, it's gonna be a little different. I think after I add them, we'll add this into water and see if we can create a bath bomb slime. Ooh, I also think it would be pretty to decorate our slime a little bit. Now I'm gonna put my hands in some activator and mix this all together. Oh, 
wow, this actually looks pretty cool. You can see how like the flowers are starting to melt into the slime. You know, it kind of looks like a mosaic slime. It's really beautiful. I love the different shades of purple. And so far, this is kind of a success. Honestly, didn't think that these bath bombs would melt into the slime. I kind of thought they would just stay like little pieces of paper, but you know, give it a good color. But no, like this is starting to melt and becoming this giant purple slime. It's not sticky or anything. Sometimes you can feel like the chunks in there, but yeah, it has like a cool texture. It feels like kind of soft. But now let's put this bath bomb slime to the real test. We're gonna add it into water. This is a bath bomb slime after all, so I have a bunch of water here. Okay, let's see what happens. My prediction is that the pigment in the slime is gonna spread out, but I might be wrong. Let's see. Wow, that's crazy. It feels so soft in my hands. It's like I'm touching butter. Straight up feels like I'm dipping my hands in butter right now. It smells so nice too. It just smells like really clean. I think the water is starting to make the slime a bit rubbery and soapy. Ooh, we're creating bubbles, guys. This is really cool. I feel like this is somewhere in between liquid soap and bar soap. The texture in the slime completely changed. It's like it disintegrated and it made a bunch of little bath bomb children look at that there's so many little ones everywhere this is the strangest one guys it's like purple guts <laughs> i don't know if we can top this one that was honestly crazy and my hands smell so good but now it's time for the craziest texture legos today we are mixing my two favorite things in the whole world together legos and slime we got all the colors. This past weekend, my family came to visit me and so I bought a Lego bonsai tree. I was like building it with my brother and I feel like it was just such a wholesome activity, you know? But today is not wholesome. Today is gonna be crazy. I feel like this slime is gonna be just like really rough on the edges, really crunchy, but really colorful and fun. Whoa, it's so colorful. <laughs> you guys, this slime feels really harsh on my fingers, but it's really fun. It kind of hurts, but I will say like, this looks really awesome. I think that this slime is honestly super iconic. The texture is whack, but I love it. So we are gonna list this in the Peachy Baby Slime Shop for $10,000. Would you buy this slime? Yeah, it's impossible to make a slime bubble with this because it just, there's like so many little pieces that it just rips. The slime is, it's colorful, it's a bit dangerous. I think this slime is super successful. It's one of a kind. And you know what? I think we gotta put it to the test. Someone has to step on this. Let's get Christian over here. What's up? How much money for you to step on this slime? $100. I got a thousand. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Good luck, Christian. Oh, oh, <laughs> ow. Oh my God. Oh, geez. You're almost there. Oh. I, I can't go move. I can't forward. go forward. <laughs> They're stuck. Oh God, that was horrible. <laughs> hey, well you got a thousand dollars now. I don't think it was worth it. Comment down below which slime texture was your favorite. Slime you later.